okay so let's get started by, with building our power bi report so this is the excel sheet which we will be using in this uh, small product pro project of ours uh, this is our main table consisting of all the required columns and there are two more tabs in here uh, this consists of some image urls which i'll be explaining you later on as we proceed and this tab is for the sentiment analysis which i'll also tell you uh, in the later tutorials okay so let's start building our uh, report with some of the uh, visuals so first of all uh, this is our uh, main table i've already imported the data uh, so firstly just see how our data looks like so this is our data the table which i've just shown you in the excel now this table looks pretty good but the other tabs just like this as you can see the main headers are in the first row so we need to uh, move them upward so for that i have to just click here and use them as first rows the same thing goes with this as well just use them as first row as headers also uh, later on i will be needing the year of all this order date as you can see the order dates are in the month date and year format so i will be needing the year so i will just took the year out right now only so for that i will go to transform and from there i will go to date and uh, i can just click on the year to take the year values out but before that uh, the good thing will be to make a duplicate of this column and now i will rename this as year so now i can just take the year of the values out so now i have, have all the years here so let's just close and apply it and quickly add some uh, charts in our report so first will be uh, i think a good 100% stacked bar chart so this will consist of our sales values with the our product name and our deal size so here we go so this right here shows the deal size of our products okay so next we will add a bar and line chart uh, this one here which is also called uh, line and clustered column chart now we will be analyzing our sales data along with the quantities order over the period of years so i'll put sales in the column the quantity in the line and the year values in the shared axis just like this okay so here we go so that's why i have uh, splitted the year values out from the date uh, just so that we can analyze our data year over year the date values were having the uh, data of day by day so that won't be uh, pretty much that helpful in this scenarios so let's add our third visual which will be a scatter chart scatter chart with a play axis so this will help us to visualize our sales and quantity data along the years so which we can also play using a play axis so let me show you how let me zoom it now we will add our sales data and quantity data in the x and y axis respectively now we will add our product code here in the details and the next will be our status in the legend and finally the year in the play axis just like that okay so here we go so the good thing about this is we have the status which is of different colors uh, light color is of light blue color is of shipped so this shows how much uh, products we have shipped so when we will play this it will show you the amount of data shipped over the years so as you can see in the 16th and 17th good amount of products have been shipped so how sales have increased over the years is pretty visually uh, effectively can be seen 
right from this chart okay so this was a scatter chart with play axis and now let's one more another chart which i have imported from the marketplace it is called drill down donut chart you can click on three ellipses and click on import from marketplace i have already done this so i'll click here just like this and uh, now i will be uh, this is called drill down because we can actually drill down in this particular donut chart and let me show you how so i will add my product name and i will be measuring the deal size okay so here we go the category here and the values the the deal size will be in the values so we want the count of deal size so this is uh, this quite really not doesn't make sense because we have put the values in the different uh, fields what we need to do is we need the deal size in the category so our deals will be in the category and the product names will be in the values and now to visualize this let me zoom this we will make it the count of deal size just like that so this will show us that 49 percent of our deals have been of the medium deal size and our large deal size which is of having more uh, expensive sales are of around 5.6 and our small deal size is of 45.4 percent now how to drill down in this chart so for that uh, suppose i have now deal size I, I want to know which types of products are there in particular deal size of medium small and large so i will put my product code in the category like here so now this chart is drillable all i have to do is click on medium and this shows the types of products so i have put the product code which doesn't really make sense i have to use this product line just like this okay so now when i click on medium this shows the that my classic cars toys which is 38 percent values they are using in the medium deal size so this is the area where i'm having the maximum profit maximum deals in the small also our maximum deals are having in the classic cars but also vintage cars are also there so lots of deals in this that area and here in the small again classic cars and vintage cars here so this is a good way to drill down we can further add more here in the categories uh, just like that so now when i'll add country here we can further drill down uh, here so now suppose in the medium deal size i want to see classic cars are used uh, or preferred in which countries so when we click here it will again drill down and now there we go we'll be able to find out that usa is the country which is where this type of uh, toys are preferred the most so usa spain and france so suppose there are uh, many more other countries there so what it will do in the end is it will just make a group of those uh, maybe less than zero percent which they are occupying and it will consider them as others so this here is a perfect chart for drilling down this is called drilling the donut chart so and when we want to go uh, in the first step here we just have to click in the middle just like that so this is how you have to you can drill down and so not to mention we can uh, drill down other or filter other uh, charts by clicking here just like this so you can see they are highlighted now we want to see the classic cars so they are further highlighted these values medium size so this is a quite a bit of uh, feature rich visuals so in the next lecture i will add another page here page 2 with some more visuals and after that we will be learning some pretty good stuff related to uh, comparing this sale this year's sales versus last year's sales and how to do the sentiment analysis the clustering and some good stuff is coming on so this was just a general uh, general part of it now we will be going further in the next lectures uh, keep on learning and i'll meet you in the next lecture thank you